My skin definitely changes with the seasons. It's dry and sensitive in the winter, but turns more combination to oily in the summertime. So as we move into summer, I'm gravitating towards more lightweight skincare products that are still hydrating. And when it comes to makeup, I also keep it really light so my natural skin peeks through. I'm super excited to be partnering with Access Y on this video to share how I've been using their products in my skincare routine. Then I'll get ready with a barely there makeup look using just a few of my favorite products. Access Y is a Korean skincare brand created with the philosophy that your skin's needs change depending on the temperature, humidity, and environmental stressors like pollution. I've been using four of their products for a couple months now and I absolutely love them for my combination acne prone skin. So let's start the morning skincare routine starting with the Quinoa One Step Balance Gel Cleanser. I love starting off my morning skincare routine with this. I usually reach for creamy cleansers in the morning since they're more hydrating, but I found this gel cleanser to be really gentle and calming. It lathers into a cushiony foam to remove any oil and products from the night before. It's also really great as an evening cleanse. It does remove my sunscreen and makeup pretty well, but I do have to double cleanse. And after I rinse it off, my skin feels really fresh, but not dry or tight. Since it's the weekend, I went in with the New Skin Resolution Gel Mask as an extra step. This is the newest product in the line that launched pretty recently on March 29th, and I've used quite a bit of it already. It's a gel mask with an amazing texture that's really satisfying and kind of looks like relish. It's meant to soothe dull and irritated skin. I actually haven't tried many gel masks before, so I wasn't sure what to expect, but I'm impressed with how even and bright it makes my skin look. After rinsing off the mask, I used the Artichoke Intensive Skin Barrier Ampoule. It's a watery serum that helps repair the skin barrier, whether it's been damaged by environmental stressors like pollution and sun exposure, or by over exfoliating, which is what I was dealing with a couple of months ago. This absorbs into my skin within seconds and doesn't leave a sticky finish. It's formulated to hydrate your skin for over six hours, reduce the appearance of large pores, and balance oil production on the skin. If you have oily skin, you will love this as a lightweight hydrating ampoule. Now moving on to my favorite product from the line, the Dark Spot Correcting Glow Serum. This is a really refreshing and hydrating serum made with 5% niacinamide. This is hands down the most hydrating niacinamide serum I've tried. It feels like a splash of soothing goodness on my skin, especially when it's healing from a breakout. My red marks from breakouts continue to heal noticeably faster when I use this consistently. Then I pick a moisturizer depending on how my skin's feeling that day. I have a few on the go that I rotate between. And last but certainly not least, it's time for sunscreen. The complete no stress physical sunscreen has been raved about so much in the skincare community on Instagram and it's actually been sold out for some time and I can see why. It's a mineral sunscreen with SPF 50 plus, PA plus, 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 plus. And if you've tried mineral sunscreens before, you know that they often leave a white or grayish cast on the skin because of how thick they are. This one is a pretty fluid texture that melts really nicely with the warmth of your skin. After a bit of blending, it leaves my skin feeling really satiny, not too matte, not too dewy. And it also doesn't make my skin feel dry, flaky, or clogged after a full day of wear. After this routine, my skin feels really balanced. It's hydrated and protected, but doesn't feel heavy or oily. If I have a breakout or my skin is irritated, I can really count on this routine to calm my skin down and help it heal during the day. Now moving on to a super simple makeup routine. First, just putting on the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm. I have some breakouts on my jawline and some red marks from previous breakouts, so I just spot concealed with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Then I filled in my brows with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. For a bit of color on my cheeks, I used the Undone Beauty Lip to Cheek Palette in the shade Flare. It's a really pretty peachy pink, and this brand is new to me and I've been really loving their products, so I'll do like a full face um, makeup look with them soon. Then for highlight, I actually started doing this concoction where I take the Nude Sticks highlighter in Hey Honey 
and a dewy cream, the Walita Skin Food Cream. And I mix them together to create a really dewy and glossy highlight. I tap it on with my fingers and I'm really obsessed with the glow and the added hydration that it gives. Then I lightly powder with the Mineral Fusion Powder Foundation. And for lips, I use the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Silk, which is like a nice kind of rosy, opaque color. I'm becoming more comfortable with my skin and just letting imperfections peek through. And I love just adding a bit of color and glow for the day. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to check out any of the Accessify products, all the links will be down below. Hope you have a great day wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!